All right, we've got this video coming in from Flag Ranch, just about two miles from Yellowstone. We've been talking about national parks and UFO activity. Now, this is video confirming the people that have been calling into third phase of moon in regards to the activity going on. Take a look at this. The installation is known to uh, people that want to get out to the country this is the Mountain Home Air Force Base. And you have to have some kind of a reservation to book your settings. And we're getting this video in from a person. His name is James and he submitted this video and he claims that he was there for about three days. And over the past three days, he was noticing strange lights in the skies and he was lucky enough to capture this event that happened approximately, he says, about 30 minutes. This whole event happened of these strange lights over the campground, over Flag Ranch. All right, so we're gonna replay the video and uh, I wanna get Brent's opinion on this because right now some people might just say this is just simply drone activity. Uh, nothing more, nothing less. What's your thoughts on that? We are on a Air Force base and James captured something amazing. It could be possible military exercises, but these look very unusual and that's what I'm finding odd. What we're looking at here is a plethora of UFOs and orbs that we're not familiar with in our skies. Yeah, we see definitely that they are orbs, but again, we do have technology. These drones nowadays would be able to simulate something like this, absolutely. But again, why over uh, national parks? Why are they doing this? And again, there is no notification for the people like, Hey, look at we're doing some kind of exercise, so be aware and don't panic. And right now, uh, James' video is something that we want to share because we got to get your your guys' opinions. Is this simply a drone? We don't see any kind of prop propellers or anything. Is this some kind of new technology? James says he heard nothing, no noise whatsoever. It was very quiet out there. And they look like orbs that are controlled. They look like they're intelligent. They're connected to each other. It's very strange. Look at that, it's pulsating. This is incredible, Blake. Well, well exactly, it is. And oh, I'm, I'm kind of like looking at this and I'm trying to just get my head around exactly what we're looking at, but I'm going back to the people that have been calling in over the past uh, two weeks or three weeks right here at our radio show, Third Phase Moon Live Radio. People have been saying they've been at national parks around the United States and they've been seeing so much activity. The UFO activity is on the rise in national parks and what better place is what I've been saying to do this. They're in remote locations. They have a police that could tell you, you gotta leave and the 
place is off limits without a doubt. They could shut the gates and uh, what is going on in the skies over there? And uh, Like I'm looking at this and people might say they're helicopters, but we did see early in the video that these orbs, which I'm calling them light beings, dropped out of the sky. They, they totally, they plummeted to the ground. Helicopters don't go into a formation together and just drop out of the sky. This is something different. And I'm recognizing it. I'm recognizing this, Blake, as something extraterrestrial. You would have to say it definitely resembles the classic UFO description that we've been uh, hearing over the years. And right there at Flag Ranch, James says they are about 11 rental trailers that you could you could rent out there, and it's located two miles from the south entrance to Yellowstone. And the Yellowstone definitely has its fair share of UFO activity. Is this what James captured? Uh, the trailers are something that you might want to think about if you want to go see some UFO activity out there in Yellowstone. And again, it's it's a close, or is it part of the mountain home Air Force Base? A lot of activity around military uh, installations and definitely military installations in national parks. And UFOs, those things go two and two. And no doubt about it. Any last words, Brent? Yeah, hand in hand, Blake. And south of Yellowstone, something went down just two miles south of Yellowstone. And this Mountain Home Air Force Base, I really think, would nail down whatever's happening here. Either they're having an encounter with something otherworldly, or they are the ones producing such a display in the skies. Everybody, keep your eyes on the skies and uh, have your camera ready. You never know when things are going to be going down. Blake Cousins, we'll see you again next time. By popular demand, Paul Baird is back with his third album, Third Phase of Moon, The Strangest Things. Twelve brand new tracks heard by millions on your favorite channel, Third Phase of Moon. Available on iTunes, Amazon, and music streaming services. Paul Barrett's Third Phase of Moon, The Strangest Things. Available right now. Links are below. Keep your eyes on the skies. We're not alone.